Now that we have the foundation for our form and the template ready, we can actually start building the data model for this form. Remember, unlike the template driven way, the data model for our form will be built in the class. So we'll go into the component.ts file, and this is where we're going to build it inside of ng on init. There's a couple benefits of doing it this way over the template driven form, since we don't need the view to test our model driven forms. The data model is built in the class itself. All of the information we need is already available to us on the Angular 2 side of things. We don't need the template. Testing is something that we'll cover in a later course, so right now let's just go ahead and build out that data model. We're going to need a couple things. We will need imports, the form group, form control, and validators. Validation rules are built inside of the class as well, from Angular Forms. Now the thing that we need to note is that we don't actually have access to all of these things just yet. We have to add one more thing to our app module. If we go into app module, right now we have forms module, which is going to give us things like 2A data binding and template driven forms. We also need to add reactive forms module. And this is going to give us access to the model driven or reactive forms. Now that that is in our app module, our reactive form component.ts knows how to actually use these. And let's go ahead and create a form. So this is going to be a variable that will hold our entire form object. And we'll make sure that we're going to type hint this as a form group. Our entire form is going to be a form group. And underneath here, let's start building that form out. We're going to say this.form is equal to new form group. And we'll pass in an object. We'll add our controls here. Name is going to be a new form control. Username is also a new form control. To make sure that this form is working, let's go ahead and console log this.form. So we're going to build out the form, and then we'll console log it to see what it looks like. Let's check that out in the browser. We can see that it already restarted for us and we have our form group, which is the form, and it's console logged out to us. We can look inside of here, and notice there's a controls object, and the controls is going to handle everything that is inside of our form group. So we have name, which is a form control, and this is where errors will show up, this is where you can check if it's dirty, disabled, and all those different things that we come to know in the template-driven way. We have now successfully created our data model for this form. Let's see if we can grab the value of this form and see how that looks. Underneath the process form, right after processing, let's log out this.form.value. And this is how we can get the input of our entire form. Let's start filling out some information. And if we submit, we can see processing, we get the name and the username. Now notice these are blank, but we actually were able to write in here. So why are we showing blank information for our form controls? The reason for this is that we haven't bound the template to our data model. Let's do that quickly in the reactive form component HTML. Right now, Angular 2 doesn't know which input gets mapped to which form control. So we're going to tell it right now. We need to tell the form, we'll use the form group directive, and we'll say this is attached to the form that we built on the model. And then we're also going to have form control name, and that's going to be name, and then the same for our username. And that's all we need to add to our template to make sure that this works. Let's give that a try. Fill in some more information, submit, and now we can see that the value of our form is name is blah blah blah, and username is that as well. Now really quickly we've been able to create our form and the data model for it inside of our class, and we're also able to get the value of it here. Moving forward we're going to look at a way to clean this up a little bit 
It can get a little tedious to have to write new form control, especially if our forms are larger than two fields. Then we'll start looking into how validations work and how they differ from the template-driven way.